I mean, you know I'm a fan of uh, mental things in Paradox games, so I think getting a bear as our king is, is right up my alley. Before we get started, uh, you're gonna have to forgive my lack of speed in clicking. I have fractured the index finger on my right hand, uh, meaning that I can't click properly. <laughs> I have a hospital appointment in about three hours time. But for now, I'm here. I don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see that it's, it's, uh, it's massively swollen. <laughs> So the crux of this is you have to be playing as Poland, go through a couple of uh, very specific criteria, unlock a secret mission tree, which is around here, and then also control Moscow. So we're going to try and do all of those things as a subpar Hearts of Iron 4 player with a debilitating PC gaming injury. All right, let's uh, assemble the Regency Council then, and let's try and remember how to play this game. <laughs> all right, we're going to stack up on the Soviet border. It seems like a natural thing to do. You're going to see me occasionally wince in pain. <laughs> as I forget to use the other finger. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I'm glad. This is why you don't play with historical. Firstly, because it's more fun. And secondly, because you sometimes get a little bit lucky. Right. I want to deal with the uh, the peasants rising up. Because if you check out here, we've got a living peasant strike. So if I don't take agrarian reform, they're going to rise up. And I, I don't really want to deal with that. It's like three times the size of my finger. Uh, I, in fact, I'm not going to tell you how I did it. I want you to comment down below how you think I managed to fracture my finger. I'll see which one's funniest and that'll be like canonically how I, how I fractured my finger. All right, so what we need to do is deny every single king twice. So, Christian, sorry mate, you're not good enough. Now, Hearts 4 is one of those games that I really enjoy playing even if I'm not the best at it. It's, it's just really fun going down to different mission trees and everything. Although I've also found that people get really upset when you misplay it. I suppose it's because there are metas, like very distinct metas. Uh, but I suppose it's the same with every Paradox game, really. We're going to get ourselves another research slot now that we've dealt with the Peasant's Looming stuff. Or Peasant Strike, I suppose you should call it. So they're no longer going to rise up, which is good. Okay, my fingers started to ache a bit, so I've, uh, I've made a makeshift splint. <laughs> which I'm actually kind of proud of. It's, it's done quite well. I might just skip the doctor's appointment. Well, that does mean I have even less control of my mouse than before. If I if I could pull this off, this would be a miracle. And here we go. Anastasia Romanov arrives in Poland. So she's turned up with her publicist to claim that she's the last Romanov and that they still claim the Polish throne, therefore that they should be on the throne. So we are going to take that and we switch our nation to the Congressional Kingdom of Poland. We get a new <laughs> ruler, which gives us a minus 20 stability. Brilliant. I mean, she looks like either very tired or very on heroin. And that unlocks a new little mission tree down here. So we're going to do that. Invite exiled nobility. That's going to give us plus 15% stability, you know, so we're on minus five overall. Oh, there's the German Civil War done, and the military come to one, obviously. <laughs> I will say that it's great that you can have a lot of these different alternate history paths in uh, in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, it, it is kind of tricky though sometimes, because unlike a game like EU4 or CK3, for example, things happen, it feels more fanciful than, for example, in EU4 if you were to try and take your nation down a different path, just because of how recent it is, I think. Polish revanchism, because we're going to get pan-Slavic revanchism. Are they in a stalemate? It looks like they are. They're on a stalemate over, over the river. <laughs> we'll clean that up in a bit. And we're going to clamp down on Danzig. Huh. Interesting. That's a little bit tricky for us, <laughs> I think, considering we want that land, but still. And we've taken Danzig. It's now ours. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, it looks like Yugoslavia is changed up. It's borders a little bit into what, Slovenia, Croatia, and and Yugoslavia. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves another research slot, and we have also dealt with the whole embargoed uh, export law that comes with uh, Danzig, so that's good. Get ourselves an operative, uh, Commando Seducer. That's a good combo. Welcome, Scarbeck. Go spawn the Russians for me. Lithuania asks for peace. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think you know what's coming, buddy. In fact, just for that, we're going to demand Lithuania. I don't think it'll take more than 24 divisions. I haven't finished my focus yet. Lithuania declared war on me. Why? Why? <laughs> sure. All right, man. Oh, look at this encirclement against the Lithuanians. This is really impressive stuff here, lads. So we'll take a screenshot for Reddit. Look at that. Beautiful. Fractured finger, still able to pull off insane encirclements. I'll uh, just walk around. <laughs> just walk to the capital, they don't have enough troops here. Is it done? I think it's done, surely. There we go, lovely. Thank you very much. Gonna put ourselves on free trade. I think that'll help things, I think. 
All right, Yugoslavia's refused to join our uh, lovely little nation here. I, I wonder why. Well, there's not much left of Yugoslavia, really. They keep on, every time I look, it gets worse. All right, let's get ourselves Livonia. All right, got ourselves a war goal against Estonia, but there's a little thing called Latvia in the way, so I, I think we're just going to justify on them. All, right, all in all, I think things are progressing nicely. You know what? We can seek an alliance with the Kaiser because, well, I, this seems a little strange considering there isn't a Kaiser. It's democratic Germany, but we can still seek an alliance with the Kaiser? Was it like a, a constitutional monarchy? I, uh, yeah, there must be. Oh, all right, nice. So we've just, uh, <laughs> Germans. <laughs> and I can, I can invite who? I can invite, <laughs> I can invite the Turks. Oh, wow, they're getting destroyed. How did that happen? Did you get attacked by the Greeks or something? Who are in the Allies? Well, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Well, sorry, Turkey. Oh, and Yugoslavia is even, even less of an existing thing now. Well, they don't exist anymore. They use the key part. I suppose we'll just demand Slovakia then. Are they, okay, they're allied with the Balkans. Um, <laughs> Ah, uh, this could be fun. Wait, the Mexican Soviet Republic's joined the common turn. Ah, oh, this, this world's a bit of a mad one. I could have sworn I was justifying on you. I'm actually feeling a lot more confident about this now the Germans are involved. And Turkey is gone. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. The French mandate of Kurdistan. Republic of Turkey is a puppet of... Suvide state, sorry. You know, okay, there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, what? Okay, that's fine. Large-scale exercises because of German rhetoric. Well, I think we'll be okay. All right, well, we have the Annex Casabella against you, but I don't really feel like fighting the entirety of the... I feel like that's a bad idea, right? Fighting the Balkans, not a, not a good idea. Well, let's just claim Russia, which actually changes the last Romanov to the last Romanov, with an exclamation mark, uh, which gives us stability and war support. So let's do that. I feel like we're in a pretty decent place to fight the Soviets. Like, not the best place, but is it ever the best place to fight the Soviets? It kind of feel like... It just keeps on cancelling my justification every time. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to do it then. Let's get ourselves some... Do we even need war prop... For... Whatever, we'll get... we're going to get it. We're going to get war propaganda. Oh, what's going on over here? Kings of Rowan is fighting a defensive war. So the Balkans are fighting the Russians. This feels like a very good time to fight the Russians, considering they're getting pushed. <laughs> if they're getting pushed by Romania, surely we can push them, right? We're going to just go ahead and draw massive ambitious offensive line. Okay, so there is something that I kind of forgot to do, which is we need to get the bear as our, one of our <laughs> generals. You do that by controlling parts of Italy and uh, Hamadan. Uh, or you could just close your eyes and hope. <laughs> and we get <laughs> Pro War check. He is a bear. Um, he's the bear of artillery and he's going to be in charge of one of our armies. I never go down the uh, Grand Basel Plan doctrine tree, so we're gonna do that. I always just go for superior firepower. All right, we've got plenty of supplies and equipment and stuff. I do wanna, oh, that's why I was saving up XP. I was meant to, I was meant to edit the template a little bit, but that's that's fine. It's okay, <laughs> so we move forwards. But we're in a good place. I think this should be okay. I mean, I don't see any Russians on my border. That's always a good sign, especially if you're Poland. Or well, anyone else border in Russia for that matter. All right, we've got our claim on Russia. Honestly, I think no time like the present. He's got some some anti-Soviet military thinking. We're gonna call him Germans. Let's get it going. All right, let's just try and cut off the Russians here. I don't know. I mean, they're focusing on the Romanians, so let's just let's just go, lads. Let's just keep going. Uh, we need a lot more men, so extensive conscription it is. I'm trying to push as much as possible before the Soviets turn up in force. Uh, we've outrun our supplies. <laughs> Maybe not aggressive. We have, we have no supplies. This is going quite well, I think. And we're not really encircling anything. But that's because we're killing them too fast. All right, let's see if we can start getting some encirclements. Even on a small scale, that would be very useful. Oh, look at that. One Soviet division encircled. <laughs> I'm going to look like such an idiot when this comes out. <laughs> see, if the enemy turns up, you just simply go around the enemy. That's the plan. Sun Tzu said that. Why do modern businessmen always like quote Sun Tzu? You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's it's weird. Yeah, uh, you're selling like children's toys. You're not embarking on the conquest of China. I don't know why that's relevant. It's just a pet peeve of mine. So we are slowing down a bit now. That's fine. 
Yeah, the Soviets have definitely turned up. The Germans haven't. <laughs> Just gonna chuck in some extra things into our divisions. We don't actually have the equipment for those things, but if we pretend that they're there. Okay, this is getting really painful. How many men have we lost? Like 100,000. What is wrong with this? Oh, is it doing that bug where it calls in my allies, but it doesn't actually call them in? Okay, brilliant. Okay, finally. Okay, the Germans are actually in. I was fighting the, the, the bloody Soviet solo there for a little bit. I say solo as if they're not fighting the entirety of the Balkans, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, Austria's here. I don't know that I'd invited Austria to this. When did Austria get involved? Yeah, I supply his situation not great. Uh, really, really not great. Uh, and you want to move troops through our territory to Slovakia? I'm going to go ahead and say no, just because you refused my demands that you would give me your territory. So why would I let your troops into my country? Hmm? Curious that. All right, do I think we can get across this river? Well, I am technically already across it here. So let's see if we can keep pushing that. Most of my generals should have infantry expert. You'd hope. This supply situation has to has to stop. We need to get the supply up. We can't get it because our troops are too weak. All right, there's another supply hub. Were you able to, to get that, maybe? I'll, I'll keep throwing men at the problem. I'll do it. All right, this is quite a nice little area. This should cut off this southern area for supply for them. Nope. Stop them from moving. And we're across the river. Brilliant. So the supply situation, again, not good. <laughs> really bad. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on. My finger is starting to really, really ache. Okay, Austria's voted to join Germany. That, I don't think that makes much of a difference to us right now. Feels like the Romanians are really not pushing anymore. I don't think anyone's pushing, really. I'm just waiting for railways to be built. Oh my god, okay. Uh, that That is bad. That is... Can we... We need to counter that, like, immediately. Uh, they're leaving. Okay, that's good. That's good. They could have very easily encircled us there. Like, like, ridiculously easily encircled us. Huh. Communist China has capitulated. To... Um, America. I'm just gonna hit done. I don't... What? Let's say Norway joins the November Alliance. Who keeps on joining? What? This is my faction. You can't just keep inviting new men. I, 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 now Sweden's in. Just want a bear on my throne and now I'm fighting the Soviets. This is not how I planned my day to go. Bit of a stalemate now, I'm afraid. Well, I say stalemate. They are uh, attacking us here and here and, and winning here. Oh, wow. Okay. The Germans have invaded. They don't have a port, but they've invaded. Can, can we help somehow? We're about to connect, but like, I don't know how... I'm gonna save him. I'm saving him. I'm saving him. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> we now have even worse supply. <laughs> I mean, the Russians are dying, but then, then, then again, so are we. They've lost almost a million men, and the Netherlands have joined. You can't just keep on inviting <laughs> these people. You're not the leader of the faction. Germany. Come on, man. <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay, the Soviets annexed half of Latvia. <laughs> that wasn't my plan. All right, are the Soviets going to declare war on Finland? Because that would, that would help quite a bit. Meanwhile, the Allies, I, I, they're just, they're off doing things. And the USA is now at war with... What? Why are you at war with the Soviets? Who's... Oh, you're in the Czech Entente. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's that stage. Once you hit 1940 in, uh, in Hearts of Iron 4, everything, everything goes to hell. I think this, yeah, this problem's not going to be solved with more divisions. <laughs> I think we have sufficient divisions. What? Oh, okay. Well. We can ignore that. And Hellas is a thing. And <laughs> again... Just gonna keep trucking onwards. Oh, hello. We're gonna actually take ground for the first time. What feels like a long, long time. And we get to encircle. Nope. <laughs> it's a bit, of, a bit ambitious. I can't encircle this lot, though. Come on. <gasps> it's an encirclement. We did it. Oh, did I fix the supply? I did, finally. My god. Well, I, I'd say, say fixed. It's just more like less broken now. Although, these guys have bad supply. And we have good supply, which means we could probably start hammering them here. Maybe. Yeah, it's gonna work. That is surprising. I, I, I was successful in an offensive in Hearts of Iron 4. This is new. God, my finger is in so much pain. It's, uh, the, the, the sort of splint isn't holding up too well. <laughs> Man, it's my finger, to be fair. Italy joined the common turn. Huh. Could have gotten Wojcik legitimately, actually. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to total mobilization. Uh, we don't actually need that much manpower. We've been slaughtering the Soviets. I think they probably are over a million now. Almost a million. We've lost 171,000. Which is more than, well, everyone else. Because no one seems to be doing anything apart from me. Although the Italian front might change that. 
Right, yeah, the Soviet lines are getting thin. Now's our time. See some key railways here. And let's see if we can get a nice encirclement off. We have kind of broken through here. That's across the river. This is good. This is good. This is the start of something. Yeah, I think the southern front is now completely encircled. Good. To be fair, they have been having to deal with, you know, the United States and the rest of the Balkans. But I take this as a massive win and a test of my own abilities more than anything else. Right, we're going to click on that random point there. And with this lot, we're going to click on the same random point and just hope they meet up. Wow, okay. This might actually work. <laughs> this was kind of dumb. I didn't expect this to work. And that's how you get encirclements in Hearts 5 and 4, ladies and gentlemen. It's just an easy, as easy as that. What? France is a republic? Oh, Bourbon for Oh, God, what the hell happened over here? They're not all, that's the war finished. They're not at war with anyone. That's disgusting. And Japan just, <laughs> the Monroe Doctrine does not exist anymore, apparently, because Japan owns portions of Mexico. All right, I think I'm just gonna order a general assault. It's gonna kill a lot of men, but I also don't have a lot of time before I need to go to the doctors. So, <laughs> on balance, virtual lives, my fingers. <laughs> right, and we're about to go to Moscow. Oh, would you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Following the capture of Moscow, we found out that the Romanov family all died, meaning our queen isn't actually Romanov. So someone else should bear the crown. He who bears the throne shall be Wasek. <laughs> he gives us 20 stability, 20 war, war support, and ideology drift defense. Most importantly, he's still on the front lines here. What a legend. What a great Easter egg that is. With Wasek as uh, I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, I know. Uh, but I'm, I'm not, you know, p Polish, so you're gonna have to forgive me that one. Also, we've somehow managed to build a, a pan-Central European alliance to counter the Balkans. I, I don't know what that's about. Romania rejects Soviet demands. I wonder why. <laughs> How close are the Soviets now? This is all the game you play. Uh, will your PC give out or will the Soviets give out? Which one will happen first? Why is Lithuania in, in a faction with us? <laughs> I, I killed them. I, Mussolini's in charge, and he's allied himself with with the Soviets. I, I don't get that. Oh, they, they're done. <laughs> they quitted before the Soviets did. I just got there. Uh, if the Romanians resisted the Soviet demands, I'm still not sure what triggered the Romanian or the Balkan Soviet war. I have no idea. Looking back on it, I realize now just how lucky we were with the, the German Civil War, otherwise I'd be having to fight Hitler at the same time. Which I don't think would be possible, but fighting the Soviets with the Germans on our side, very possible. Especially when we got, you know, the entirety of America. There we go. I clicked done instead of pass. <laughs> Curse these fingers. <laughs> uh, but that seems to be what the peace deal is, and I'm not happy about it. Jesus Christ. Okay. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we'll leave it for today. That is how you can get Wojtek on the uh, on the throne of Poland. Like I said, you do need to have him as a military commander. For that to happen, you need to have uh, some troops in Italy, be at war with Italy, and also control Hamadan uh, down here. If you get that, you get him as a general. And then from there, if you control Moscow and have done these steps and gone down the secret tree with the Romanovs, very, very niche thing, but you can get him as... Uh, as a king, and by God, does he look brilliant. It's been a long time since I did any sort of Hearts 5 and 4 on this channel. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please do let me know uh, by liking and subscribing. Also suggest uh, anything down in the comments below for me to play. And I look forward to reading what you have to say. Otherwise, lads, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. J. Erickson321, Shadowsinger, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demerel. Your support means a lot, guys.